everyone, it's Kimberly from Jared Publishing again, and today I'm going to talk about the differences between print-on-demand and offset printing. Print-on-demand um, is often referred to as POD, and it is a method of digital printing that allows you to print books as they are needed. You can print one book to a thousand books um, at a time, um, whereas with offset printing, you are needing to print very large quantities of books in a single run often a minimum of about a 5,000 up to thousands and thousands of books. Um, with uh, print on demand, it's made it possible for authors to self-publish their books without the large upfront costs and in inventory that is required with offset printing. So with print on demand, there is a little to no setup fees required to get your book um, up in their um, system. So other than just the printing costs themselves, um, Create Space has no setup fees. Um, while uh, Ingram Spark charges $49 to get the title into their system. With offset printing, the, the setup costs vary by printer. Some of them have a large you know, setup cost. Some of them will waive that setup cost um, if you order a very large quantity. So it varies between printer to printer, but they can be quite expensive just to get the title set up with them. Um, with print on demand, of course, you can print as many books as you need at any time you need them. If you just need a single book, you just log into your account, order one single book, and they print it and ship it to you at their set per book printing and shipping costs. If you need a thousand copies, 500, 50, whatever you need for that moment, um, for whatever you have coming up, a, a book um, signing event, or you just need to get 20 copies uh, to ha keep in stock, um, you know, just for whatever you need throughout your uh, book publishing needs, you can do that. Whereas if you've ordered a 500 copies of your book at a, um, an offset printing and you just need a few more books, well, you're going to have to run another large printing run with them. You can't just go get a few books here and there after that initial um, run has been done. So with offset printing, the more books you order, the cheaper the per book cost is going to be. So 500 copies of the book um, won't be very inexpensive, but if you order like 5,000 copies of the book, the per book cost will be a lot less. And if you do use offset printing, um, in addition, you know, you got thousands of books printed and they just give them to you. So you need to be able to warehouse and store those books in a good environment. It can't be wet or have other issues. So um, unless you've got, you know, an empty garage somewhere or a storage space, you know, you're going to have to warehouse those books. Um, and that, those books can take up a lot of space. With, with print on demand, there's no need to keep those large quantities in hand. You just keep however many on hand you, you feel you need, uh, maybe 10 to 20 copies just in case you, you need some to uh, sell to somebody. But other than that, you don't need to keep many books on hand. Um, and with, uh, with print on demand, it's also very easy to make revisions. Uh, imagine if you printed a thousand copies of your book and you found a very uh, major issues with it's maybe you type had a few bad typos or something and you, and you want to fix them well you've got a thousand books with that mistake in it you can't do anything about it with print on demand if you've um, seen a few issues you can just make the corrections upload a new file and then the next time you run you get some books printed the newest uh, corrected version will be used no problem uh, with offset printing, you are also in charge of handling the distribution and order fulfillment on your own. So you have to go, you got all this warehouse of books, well, how do you sell them? You know, you sell them in advance, you know, signings, or you use um, maybe Amazon Advantage to get your books on Amazon, but you are in charge of all of that. Um, with uh, with print-on-demand, um, or some print-on-demand companies such as CreateSpace and IngramSpark will also distribute your book for you. So they will get it up on Amazon, barnesandnoble.com, booksamillion.com. It will be listed on those sites. Um, they handle all of the ordering, all of the shipping. All, everything's handled for you, so you just get the checks at the end of the pay period, and you don't have to worry about all of that. So that being said, there are some downsides to using a print-on-demand versus offset. So here are some things to consider. Book size options. With print-on-demand, the printers are going to have a limited number of book sizes that they can run through their machines. The, um, they do have quite a lot, but they're still limited. So if you have a, a very specific book size you need that might be a little unusual, chances are you won't be able to do it with a print-on-demand company. 
So um, and most notably is landscape options. I, I do think CreateSpace now offers one landscape option, but Ingram Spark does not. So if you have a landscape book that you want to print, uh, print on demand might not be able to do that for you. Um, another uh, downside is paper stock choices. You only get two, white or cream, or with just like an off-white. That's it. That's the only choices you have. Um, offset printers will have a wide variety of different papers that you would be able to print on for your book. So a lot more choices there if that's important to you. Another thing is binding options. Uh, CreateSpace only offers uh, paperback books. IngramSpark does have some more options such as hardcover, case wrap, saddle stitch, but most notably they don't offer any kind of spiral or wire binding. So if that is important for your book, you won't be able to do it using print on demand. Um, color printing is another thing to consider. With print on demand, if you have just one page in your book that is in color, you're gonna to have to pay as if every single book is in color and it can get very expensive. With offset printing, you can have your color and your black and white run by different machines and then they would insert that color sheet into your book um, before it's bound and it re you know, you're only paying for that one color option. Not so with print on demand. So um, with Ingram Spark, they do offer different levels of color, whereas CreateSpace just offers one color option. So if you have just say a business book with some charts and graphs that are in color, Ingram Spark does have a, um, what they call a standard color that does pretty well for those things, but it doesn't do well if your book is like photographs. So you'll want to use a premium color if you're using things like photographs with them. Um, the per book cost can be a bit higher when you're using print on demand, um, especially if compared to running say 5,000 books in an offset printer, your per, per book printing cost will be much higher. But then again, you don't have to pay for the 5,000 books all at once. You're just paying for them as they are printed and they're needed. So um, that being said, most self-publishers do go with print on demand uh, just because of the large upfront cost and how um, CreateSpace and Ingram Spark make it very easy to get your book uh, distributed to Amazon and such without uh, you needing to do anything. But uh, there are some cases where offset printing might be um, your better choice. Depends on your situation. Um, if you need some additional help navigating the world of self-publishing, I am available for uh, coaching and consulting. Visit us online at jarapublishing.com or you can give me a call at 770-642-6400 uh, to see how we can help you self-publish your book. Until next time, keep writing.